oh my goodness, what is causing all this? In the immortal words of Ric Flair, what's causing all this? Well, you know what's causing all this. Robert Downey Jr. just walked out on stage at San Diego Comic-Con and announced that he is going to be playing Victor Von Doom in the MCU. There's a whole different debate to be had about whether that is good, bad, or indifferent. But a lot of people are asking, how? How is Tony Stark Victor Von Doom? Well, we're going to talk about that. Right now. Uh, it's multiverse. You can do whatever you want. Okay, that's the short answer. This is kind of a funny thing because there are some precedents that I'm going to tell you about in Marvel Comics where Tony Stark has become Doctor Doom. So that's what this video is all about. But the bottom line is the MCU is going to do whatever it wants. So we can't really predict it. Just like the Age of Ultron had nothing to do with the Age of Ultron comic book storyline, I guarantee you Tony Stark being a variant Victor Von Doom will have nothing to do with any of the stuff that I'm about to tell you but still you're gonna want to go to the cinema in 2026 and be able to say hey well you know what there is a Marvel Comics precedent for this and don't worry your boy Dave's gonna tell you how you can do that so two I'm gonna talk about first of all there is a standalone issue of what if what if had a story where Tony Stark and Victor Von Doom exist in a different reality where they just so happen to be college roommates? So just like Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards and Victor Von Doom, originally they were college roommates and that's how their story got started. In this reality, it's Tony and Victor. And what happens is essentially, uh, I hate the fact that I always use that term essentially. Sometimes I even edit it out of my videos, but I'll keep it in here. They do an experiment where their minds get switched. So Tony's brain is put into Victor's body and vice versa. But what happens is when this occurs, there's a big old catastrophe. It all goes Pete Tong. And as like recompense or to get away with it, Victor makes sure that Tony's mind is wiped. So he doesn't remember anything about his past or whatever. And he's shipped off to Latveria. So it's an interesting question of nature versus nurture. Does Tony Stark, with Victor Von Doom's surroundings, become a maniacal dictator or a good person? And likewise, does Victor Von Doom, with Tony Stark's resources, become megalomaniacal? Guess what? <laughs> he does. Because that's what Victor Von Doom does. So the story, of course, eventually comes to pass where the two clash and it's Tony Stark showing that it is, in this case, nature over nurture. Even though he's he's become this Victor Von Doom type character with a full on Iron Man type mask and armor or Von Doom type mask and armor, excuse me, uh, he's still a good person at heart. But this time it's Victor Von Doom being a good person. It's it, it's a good story. It's it's nice. It's unusual. It's a what if. So therefore, anything can happen. That's a small self-contained issue, but it's a good time. It's good fun. But then we got Marvel Team Up. This was a storyline, uh, an ongoing comic series that debuted in 2004, which was based all around, boom, teaming up Marvel characters. And it's kind of interesting. It starts off in an alternate reality and then goes into the 616. And this is the main kind of point that I think the MCU might be drawing from. So there's this alternate reality that's being pretty much just ruled over and messed up by this evil villain called Titanus. I try to say that quickly so I wouldn't smirk like a like a, a 12 year old, but the character's name is Titanus. I know Titanus, Titanus. The dude's name's Titanus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so pathetic. I'm 42 years old, but you, could, you call yourself Titanus. And I'm, how can you be expected to be taken seriously? Anyway, this dude has somehow conquered the planet. <laughs> Lord only knows why. Probably because all the heroes collapsed into fits of hysterics when he introduced himself. <laughs> Let's see how you deal with the might of Titanus. <laughs> God bless him. Anyway, in this reality, 
Tony Stark has had his life destroyed by the villain in question, whose name I won't say anymore. <laughs> and he has developed an Iron Man type armor or a, a, a Von Doom, a Doctor Doom looking sort of armor to, to, to survive in this life. Not even to battle Titanus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm t- I have had a couple of chew highs, but there's no excuse. It's just... <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway... Uh, so he he's developed this this armor, but also because the, this world is like it's it's mean, it's nasty, it's brutal. It's like living in Bracknell. He's he's become a harder, nastier person, and he has a a fight with Reed Richards. We don't know what exactly the backstory is, but we know that they have a beef between each other, and he sees Reed Richards as an evil, bad person. So much so that in the fight with the Fantastic Four, the Human Torch burns his face, so he gets all the Victor Von Doom type scars. And then I think I think he actually kills the Human Torch. But ultimately, he, <laughs> ultimately, but not essentially, I'm not leaning on that crutch too much, he's sent to the 616, Reed Richards. Sends him to the 616. That's one of those good old superhuman, be a good guy, but get rid of your opponent type moves. Reed doesn't want to kill him, so he shunts him to the 616, so he's their problem. And in there he appears. And completely randomly, if you could take a guess right now, you're watching this, who do you think teams up to take this guy down? If you said Spider-Man and X-23, you'd be right. But that's a highly unlikely combination. But boom! That's who it is. So he gets taken down. He gets put into S.H.I.E.L.D. custody. And this is in the 616. So this is regular canon now. We have the Victor Von Doom type Tony Stark. And he he gets out of custody in a very cool way. Eventually, it's a little bit of comic book logic. He just overcomes whatever sedatives he's on. And he's imprisoned with Diamondback, who you might know from the Serpent Society, who I didn't know was like an android type character. And he breaks her down and turns her parts into armor. And to be honest... It's real messed up. Like, there are some scenes where she is crying tears while he disassembles her and builds an armor out of her. Like, it's messed up. Like, to be honest, the early 2000s in Marvel Comics was was a bit weird. There there was some some weird-ass stuff going on. It was kind of cool, to be honest. So eventually, he he uses uses this this new armor to break out, and he battles the Avengers and uh, Spider-Man and and all that kind of thing. And eventually, he's defeated. There's a character who's a a Super Skrull-type character who he makes a noble sacrifice. Well, it's not really a noble sacrifice. He just gets killed. Uh, But yeah, this, this... Tony Stark, Doom, Iron Man kills him and eventually is just taken out by a Captain America shield to the back of the head. Like, that's literally it. But there you go. So now that I think about it, there should be a scarred up Victor Von Doom style Tony Stark still in the 616. I don't think we've ever referenced him since. I guess he's just, you know, whiling away the hours in a prison cell somewhere. But that is... The comic book history of Tony Stark being Doctor Doom. And there's plenty of other stories as well. There's the Iron Man. Is it it's not it's not Invincible Iron Man. It's not Superior Iron Man. It's something else. But there's there's um a whole run, which is great, of Victor Von Doom taking the Iron Man armor and trying to do good, which is post Secret Wars. That's a whole other thing though. But like I said, the MCU, it's gonna be a whole new story. But I thought it would be fun give you a little bit of a uh, uh what's it called uh cliff's notes as to what has happened in the past in the marvel comic book universe that resulted in tony stark being doctor doom will we see these scenarios in the mcu absolutely not <laughs> but it's going to be interesting to see so gang there you go thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little very fast put together as told by toys if you did then hit that thumbs up button you know what i'd really appreciate it and actually while i'm here give a channel sponsor 
a little view. Legends verse. Go check them out because this is primarily an action figure channel. If you want to catch up with all your action figures, keep them correlated and also look back in the past as to what action figures you need, go on over to Legends verse. It's an amazing website. Honestly, I dig it the most. It's a good time. So yeah, check those guys out and yeah, until next time. Keep displaying moral behavior.